Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Burnt Brass Homestead channel. Today, we observe the state of all the fruit trees and berry bushes on the homestead. This is the peach tree purchased two years ago. It produced a few peaches last year. It looks like we will get much more this year. I was a little concerned about this tree when the temperatures dipped below freezing after the buds had already formed. But as you can see, it is doing fine. This is one of our two strawberry patches planted at the start of last spring. The larger strawberry patch needs to be weeded, at which point we will place hay down to deter weeds from growing. I definitely expect to have an abundance of strawberries between June and July and parts of August. The blueberries are already developed. They need to be covered before they ripen to protect them from the birds. Here are the grapes. This will be the first year we harvest them if they produce fruit. The raspberry bushes have produced a lot of fruit the past couple years. They grow and reproduce new shoots. However, it and the blackberries need pruning. The fig tree is starting to produce leaves. It took about three years for the fig tree to start producing an abundance of fruit. We will likely not see any figs on a tree until July, but it will continue producing figs until first frost. This cherry tree was either planted last year or the year before last. I really don't expect to get much from it this year. Here are the blackberries. These bushes produced an abundance of blackberries from June all the way through October. I need to work on pruning both the blackberries and raspberry bushes. We are installing trellises to support the branches to keep the fruit off the ground. This is the biggest fruit tree on the property. I planted this fruit tree the first year I purchased the house. It took, five, it took four years for the Bartlett to start producing reliably. I like to walk around the homestead whenever I get a chance. In the past, I did this on a daily basis during the warm seasons and a couple times a week during the cold season. These simple things make me extremely happy. I was reminded of this this past weekend as my husband and I worked hard together in the homestead. It is important not to let others take up too much of your time, especially those days you reserve to chillax. Otherwise, it can leave you physically and emotionally fatigued. While these bushes are not fruits, they are worth mentioning. They look and smell wonderful. You can smell the rose bushes in the living room when there is a slight breeze. It's the simple things that can change the mood of your day for the better.